Hi everyone, this is Yesha with IELTSmaterial.com and welcome back to my series. Did you watch my previous videos related to how to write an accurate introduction and a short conclusion in IELTS essays? You must be wondering about the supporting paragraphs, right? So here we are. Today I am going to teach you again the simplest method to write the two detailed supporting paragraphs which will help you to complete your essay and get band 8 or a higher band score in your IELTS writing test. Let us collect the points and start writing. So let us learn what is a supporting paragraph. The supporting paragraph helps you to prove the thesis statement with real and factual evidences or statements at least seemingly real or factual statements. There are four elements of a supporting paragraph. What are they? Number one, topic. The main idea or let's say the first reason of your opinion. Number two, example. This will help you justify your main idea. Number three, discussion. That means the supporting details which will help to support the main idea. And finally, number four, conclusion. You're not going to write a conclusion here of the complete essay. It is just the conclusion of the main idea or let's say the particular main idea to be presented in this paragraph. Thank you for watching it till here. If you want to learn more tips and strategies for IELTS, then check out the description below and book a free demo class today. Now here we are going to use the same question that we have used in the previous videos to write the introduction and the conclusion. Let me just read out the question again. Technology is becoming increasingly prevalent in the world today. In the not too distant future, technology will completely replace the teacher in the classroom. Do you agree or disagree? Again, I would give you that this is an opinion based essay where it is important to write your opinion. Here, this is the introduction. I have specifically highlighted the outline statement where we have the two main ideas. Let me just read out the outline statement from the introduction. Analyzing the inability of a technology driven teacher to both cater to students learning needs and instill motivation will show this. That means the two main ideas are the inability of a technology driven teacher to cater to students learning needs. And finally, the second point is the difficulty a machine would have motivating students. Now, you must be wondering what is this table? This table actually gives a clear description of all the elements or the pointers that we would be using to write the supporting paragraphs. I want you to understand all the points very carefully. You can see I have taken two paragraphs. Supporting paragraph 1 which talks about the needs of a classroom of students and the second point talks about students motivation which cannot be achieved by a machine. I have taken a real world example so the first example is talking about the sophisticated robots like Hinda Asimov which would be definitely um, unable to recognize tactile cues from people and the other one is taking a small kind of research survey saying that according to American scientific views of education children learn better when they have a personal connection to their teachers. This is further discussed with two discussion points saying that machines will not be able to adapt the instructions to a lively classroom and the other point says that human attention is required rather than mechanical stimulus and this will actually cause young toddlers to display emotion. Now you can see a very good logical conclusion given for both the paragraphs which says before a machine can understand students learning needs a very long time will have passed and compared to that the other one is 
compared to learning from a human teacher children would progress more slowly under computerized instruction let's write the first body paragraph first let us gather all the pointers to write the first body paragraph i have taken all the points from the table and these pointers are just a kind of notes that we have made and now we would be connecting these pointers with the help of the linking phrases you can see the linking phrases here used are firstly a teacher powered by artificial intelligence would have difficulty interpreting the educational needs of a classroom of students and then to write an example i have taken the linking phrase that is for example for example honda asimov one of the world's most advanced robots has trouble distinguishing simple human emotions if today's most advanced artificial intelligence cannot categorize these basic physical cues it is difficult to believe that a robot could be capable of altering study plans and teaching styles in a dynamic classroom setting thus thus means this is concluding thus this makes it clear that a technology driven teacher is not going to be operational any time in the near future so you can see very clearly i have taken four complete statements to describe the first body paragraph now let's move to write the second body paragraph taking all the four pointers again you can see that the second body paragraph also is connected with a lot many linking phrases the first one is starting with secondly a robotic teacher would not be able to establish the emotional connection needed to motivate students the example here in is the american scientific theory of education plays a good example here did you see that in the previous paragraph i took the statement as for example and here i'm writing it as a simple sentence taking it as a simple sentence this widely supported theory argues that young learners are most motivated when they share an emotional relationship with their instructor as most would agree expecting children to form emotional ties to machinery is unrealistic the argument that technology will replace the teacher in the classroom can be debunked that means it can be eradicated you can see how well the first paragraph and the second paragraph looks with the help of the pointers that we have taken you should also try to make or let's say build the body paragraphs in the same manner but plan the body paragraphs before executing the plan that means note making will help you or let's say collecting the pointers will help you build a very good body paragraph so it's every time that we do not end up the video without taking any homework here is your homework we have already written an introduction and a conclusion for these three questions and now is the time that you write supporting paragraphs related to these three questions hence you would be able to complete three essays and that is a very good part it's a very good practice So the first question talks about an opinion essay that is an agree disagree essay. The second question talks about advantages and disadvantages essays where you have to write the opinion saying which one is more and which one is less. The third question is a double question essay where you do not have to write any opinion hence you will also not write any thesis statement. so you would only be answering the two questions given in this question finally we have ended the writing sections understanding all the elements of an essay or let's say the writing task 1 i would recommend you to practice as many essays and the questions as you can to get a band 8 in your ielts examination stay with us for more ielts learning and do not forget to like share and subscribe ielts material youtube channel keep learning and stay updated with ieltsmaterial.com thank you bye bye